Welcome back. We're here to create a brand new recipe from Pampered Chef in their Seasons Best Summer and Spring Catalog 2019. I'm going to be making the California Chicken Club Ring, which is part of the recipe, includes this brand new, amazing, it's a stoneware. It goes from baking to serving, so you have less mess. Let's figure out the ingredients we need. Okay, we're going to be using the large round platter from Pampered Chef. For the California Chicken Club ring recipe, you're going to need enough oil for brushing. You're going to need three ounces of fresh kale, which is about four cups. You're going to need green onions trimmed. One package of pre-cooked bacon, we've got that here. You're gonna need one garlic clove, one cup of grape tomatoes, four ounces of pepper jack grated cheese, uh, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one pound of rotisserie chicken, preferably already shredded. You're gonna need two cans of crescent rolls. And then one egg, we're going to be using the yolk of the egg. A half a teaspoon of water. And then for the avocado dip, you're going to of course need one large avocado. We're gonna be pitting that and cutting it into chunks. You will need plain uh, Greek yo-fat, low-fat or whole-fat, doesn't matter, just some yogurt but we want the thicker kind, that's why we're looking for the Greek. One tablespoon of lemon juice, one green onion, and then uh, salt and pepper. Okay, let's get ready to cook. Let's start by presetting the oven to 375. 375, preheat oven, that's your first step. Okay, first step when you take your large pampered chef round platter, you're gonna take your basting brush and you're just going to smooth the oil around the middle of the pan. Go up to the sides because we're going to create a non-stick surface. Basting brush, move the oil all the way around. You're looking probably at the most, maybe two tablespoons of oil. You want it nicely coated though. Again, you're creating a non-stick surface because we're gonna be putting those crescent rolls down on that flat surface. The second step is to remove the stems from the kale leaves. However, if you buy the baby kale, they are soft enough and small enough that you don't have to do that step. So we're gonna take the three ounces. This is a five ounce container, so we're gonna take three fourths of that. Let's put it into the batter bowl. Pampered Chef plastic glass bowl works just as well. Put that in there. We are going to add your pre-cooked bacon. Okay, with your pre-cooked bacon, if it's not already chopped into small pieces, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cut this into small pieces. And I'm using the Pampered Chef five inch Sentoku knife. You can also use the larger chef's knife. You're just gonna to wanna to Carefully go through the rocking motion. The, that one's not quite as, this one I can just kind of get in there and chop easier. That's why I like that shorter Santoku knife. But again, we're just looking for some rough chops here to make sure that they're bite-sized pieces. Once that's complete, you're gonna go ahead and put that into your mix with the kale. And we're gonna do the same process here And the other reason I'm not washing my blade off is because the bacon is cooked. Normally, if you're dealing with raw meat, before you touch your vegetable, you wanna go ahead and wash that off. So, these ends are gonna cut up a lot faster, so I typically cut these off first. Then once I get to the more meatier part of the onion, I'm gonna slice them down the middle so they slice faster. There's, there's no 
a wrong way to do this. If you have a different method, that's fine. I just want a little bit smaller piece because like I said, these are the meatier part of the onion. And you're just gonna carefully chop away, watching for fingers at all times. And once you get to the end, go ahead, scoop those up, put those into your mix, and then we'll move on to the step number three. Yeah. Garlic press, and what's great about that, uh, the quality of this product is that you do not have to take the skin or the husk off of the garlic. You place it right in there, push down, and it easily comes out. Um, put that in your stock or discard pile. I'm actually, because that was a smaller bulb, I'm going to go ahead and make two bulbs. Um, cooking, you want to go for taste. Uh, even though you're following recipe, if it looks like you need a little more, add a little more. Um, if I had a really large clove, I would probably just stick with the one. All right, so next we're going to mix this all around. Then we're going to be placing it into the microwave for two minutes. So let's just make sure I kind of get this mixed around. So we're going to put this in the uh, microwave because we want to wilt that kale. So two minutes, and when it's done, we'll come back for step number four. Okay, step four, we sliced up the tomatoes, and we added them along with the mayonnaise and mustard to our kale mix that was in the microwave for two minutes. You can see the kale's wilted down. So we added the chicken, the mayonnaise, the mustard. We're combining them together with the cheese. So you take a pepper jack cheese, get that in there. starts to look ooey gooey yummy. Alright, so that's step four. Alright, now that this is fully incorporated, you've stirred this together, go ahead and set this to the side and then you're going to move over to your brown platter. We're going to do the crescent rings part. So you take your crescent roll dough and we're going to unroll this on a clean surface here. So you're gonna unroll crescent roll dough, and we're gonna take these pieces that it's got pre-cut carefully as best you can. Sometimes it gets sticky. So if it gets sticky, I just add a little oil to my fingers, and we're going to place it on the platter like so. Let it hang over, that's okay, because again, we're gonna roll And just keep going. Just keep layering it out around the ring. Okay. And then we'll go to the next step. Then we're going to evenly distribute the stuffing all around in the middle here by the dough ring. Okay, once you've got all the stuffing evenly distributed around here, you're going to take those flaps that you created and we're going to roll them around and uh, lightly tuck them in. This is what's going to create that beautiful ring. All right, now that we've got it wrapped up, you're going to take an egg, your egg and you're going to whisk on step seven, whisk this up to create an egg wash that's so going to go over our the top of our pretty. I'm just going to brush it on lightly here with your basting brush. 
Okay, so we've egg washed the top of it. We're gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until it's fully cooked. Okay, we're going to take and prep the avocado. You're gonna take your short knife, Santoku, by Minch Pamper Chef Santoku knife, slide it down the middle. All right. Gonna rock it back and forth and pop it out. And then if you don't have an avocado slicer, you don't have an avocado slicer, the best way to do this is take your knife gently and you're gonna make little slices down, then come across like so. Take a spoon, because that's what's gonna get right next to that skin. And then you're able to pop out all those little lovely pieces you just created for either sliced or chopped avocado. Just take your spoon and pop it out. So while your California chicken club ring is cooking in the oven, go ahead and prepare the avocado dip. And here's how we do that. You take uh, the avocado and you're gonna put that into the manual food processor. Add the liquid, which would be the juice of your lemon. It's a half a lemon. Squeezing with the citrus press, which is great. I love the citrus press because this one, the way it's designed, it nearly turns the uh, citrus inside out. So you get all that lovely juice out. And you're gonna take your half cup, uh, and this comes out to be about half cup with the measuring bowl. Put that yogurt in there with the avocado and the citrus. Then we have the onion. Green onion that we sliced just into chunks. Salt. And pepper. I just like the fresh ground pepper because it's so much taste here. I'm gonna put the lid on here carefully. And we're gonna just pop this until it's blended. And you can see how well it starts to blend up. Pretty good. Now we're gonna stop. Here's all stems to get chopped up. That's all right. Make sure that that top part gets a little bit incorporated. Actually, this looks pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna take that blade out. Because what's great about this manual food processor is it has a lid. So I don't have to transfer this into anything. I'm just gonna get all that yummy goodness. It's ready to pull out of the oven. I'm get out of the oven. Ready to serve with that avocado dip. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it and enjoy it as much as we do.